Hey there Canaanites, it's fodder time. This week is more or less just as the title of the video describes, Cleaning House. More accurately, Grimm is giving us a look at what to expect going forward as the format for Canon fodder is refined. So, let's take a look. We actually start out this week with a recap slash advert for Hunt the Truth. As I've mentioned, you can get this from the Hunt the Truth Tumblr, the Halo channel, and iTunes. However, it has been brought to my attention that if you do love the audio series, you should rate it on iTunes. It's an easy metric for the creators to measure and view, and will help them out in the long run. Helping them out, of course, means bigger and better things for us going forward. The next section talks a bit about the recent Lock Armor trailer, which I broke down earlier this week, while also giving us descriptions for the armor pieces. Gen 2 Mjolnir Hunter Class Armor Sophisticated and lethal, the Hunter Armor Class incorporates Watershed Division's latest warfighting technology. Gen 2 Mjolnir Hunter Class Helmet Though still considered a prototype implementation, the Hunter's Sensor Suite enhances situational and threat awareness. Explains a bit why Locke is the only Spartan seen with this new set, and why we haven't seen it until now. Moving forward, we get into the housekeeping bit. I'm going to be skimming over a lot of the details, so please, please check it out if you are actually interested in reading about all of it. The big highlights are as follows. The community Q&A is going to be an ongoing thing, with answers dropped here and there, now and then, rather than in a huge dump once a month. Asking questions on Halo Waypoint follows the same format as before, three questions per post, one post per member. I think this will be a nice change of pace, though large knowledge drops are certainly still welcome. The snapshots provided by fans will be coming soon, and people who participated will have a new Waypoint medal to show off. Expect more interviews with 343 employees, especially those involved with the lore. And finally, community interviews are coming. Like I said, these are just the highlights. Check out the full article, as there's lots of stuff you may find interesting that I didn't mention. There usually is. The next section gives us a look at the new Halo tabletop game from Spartan Games, titled Halo Fleet Battles. If you're in South London today, you can check out the new game at Salute 2015. However, if, like me, you're not in South London, nowhere near it, <laughs> these images will have to do. The first set, which is set around the Battle of Reach, comes with 49 unpainted vessels. There will also be expansion packs to simulate the full-scale Battle of Reach. God knows, I can't wait. If you pre-order today, you'll also get one of the two busts of the commanders for the UNSC and Covenant fleets. For humans, you have Vice Admiral Michael Stanforth. For the Covenant, you have the newly introduced Ro Barutami. And as you can see in some of the images, there are more ships than just the ones we were introduced to, including an assault carrier for the Covenant and an orbital supermac for the UNSC. You can bet that I'll be giving a proper review of this game when it comes out. I'll probably even do some play session videos too. The final section brings us to an interview with 343 employee Samantha Regor. And apologies, Samantha, if I butchered your name. She's a writer and producer for 343, and apparently boasts a mastery of knitting. The interview itself is actually pretty good, going over Samantha's history in the gaming industry and her favorite parts of the Halo franchise. The woman is a Halo nerd through and through, having even wrote a 10-page college paper on the symbolism found in the original Bungie trilogy. I was a video game major, I'm a huge Halo nerd, and even I can't boast that. <laughs> Seriously, it's hilarious and engaging, so check it out. Wrapping up the article, we come to the new universe entries. There's only a couple this week, sadly, but it's been a hell of a time for them recently, so I can't really hold it against Grimm. This week completes the Coven Triumvirate with articles for Truth and Mercy, regrets having been done a while back. The guy had an in-depth character study from the previous version of Halo Waypoint, so his article was undoubtedly easier to make. The articles are short and don't really reveal anything new, but it is nice to have the complete set of profits. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, as always. This has been Halo Cannon, and I'll see you Sunday. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means more than I can express in a few minutes of audio. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it around on whatever social media you see fit, and all that jazz. Thank you so much. Your support is everything. I would not be where I am without you. Thanks.